friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture. So in today's tutorial, I am going to show you how I created this monogram N, this jeweled letter M. And what we're going to be using today is my 24 karat Photoshop brushes, which a lot of you guys have. And also we have the Jewels in Gold Graphic Mega Pack. And in another tutorial, I've already showed you how I created these, how I created the jewels. So you already have that, or you could just um, get them from my site. So what I have right now is one of the jewel documents open, and this is the one that I created, the rose quart. But you could use whatever color, um, whatever kind of jewels you want. Um, so I've got that open here, and we have all our jewels in different layers. And then I've got my file, and I'm gonna um, for my Patreons. Um, this you can download this uh, working file on my Patreon. And so I already have my gold brushes loaded, my 24 karat gold brushes loaded up. And what else do we have? We have our side ba uh, sidebar palette open, which is what we're sampling the gold from. And then also I have my 24 karat brush previews here so I can kind of have a reference and go back and see what brushes I need. But I'm gonna show you how easy it was for me to make these using the gold brushes and the stones that I've already created. So I'm just gonna pare back the layers here and I'm going to take off my top and bottom accents and I'm gonna take off everything. And first off, I start with um, a font actually. So this was some kind of Dido. And what I applied was one of my 24 karat gold layer styles just to get me started, but you don't have to do this. You could just put um, this in like a brown or a taupe or something. But I went ahead and put my gold 15A, and I'll have that linked below, but I started with the layer style, so I've got a nice little gold base layer here. And then I put the stones on top, and I just dragged them from my document here and resized them, and I wanted to make sure that they're not so perfect. And then I added a little one here, I thought that was nice. So I'm just gonna turn this off for a second, and I just go over here to my rose quartz, and grab my stones and just kind of drag them over and you know play around with the placement I like putting um, like dark you know the colors have a little bit of jitter so it's nice so you can you know just make it your own and you can use any font that you want you could use like a Google uh, free font um, something like a Playfair display is a nice serif font but I like to have like with this one, I like to have like a refined serif. I think that's really nice. So um, I'm not going to take you through all that, but you get the idea. Lay down your jewels like that. Excuse me. So I have my stones here. And, oh, I'm going to sneeze. So I've got my stones laid out. So we'll just say we'll skip through that. But you get the idea. Drag the stones. Put them on top. You don't have to do a clipping mask or anything. And, you know, you let them kind of go off the sides and stuff and I just love how the stones already have the gold borders on them and just how it already starts taking shape and looks really nice and you've got that gold coming off the side which is lovely so we're gonna leave it like that and then here I've created um, I've just added some kind of highlights on this uh, on the letter base so what I do here is I created a new layer this is the only clipping mask layer we're gonna use in fact so I just go to my text layer and hit command or control and click that layer and that's going to select the contents of that entire layer. And I'm creating a layer mask on my new layer rather than creating a clipping mask to this layer because I have a layer style on this. And if I create a clipping mask and draw something on there, then you're not going to see that because the layer style overrides the clipping mask. So create a new layer. I've select control, com I've command or control and selected this layer to select the contents. And then I go to layer, um, what's here? Layer mask, sorry, totally brain fart there. Layer mask, and then I'm revealing the selection. So there we've got our clipping mask. And now I'll select this layer here. And what I did was I just created um, some kind of highlights on this. So I can go to really any of my brushes, but let's see here. Just grab like, I'm gonna go grab 19. And as you remember, like my brushes already, the gold brushes already have um, 
something loaded up into them. So you can kind of just play, see how that looks like. I'm going to flip through here. I like this 21. So I'm just going to go over here and I've got my gold brush 21. I'm going to option select and select something, uh, select a area over here to load that gold up into my brush. And then I'm going to go back here to this layer and kind of just paint it on and it gives it some cool highlights. But in fact, I want to I want it a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna go up here. And if you have any questions, a little like, if it's a little fast for you, it's a little confusing, I've got a whole series of playlists, tutorial playlists for these gold brushes. So go back, refer back if you, if any of this is going too fast for you. And then I'm just gonna make some like highlights here on, on, this, uh, on this gold, which I think looks cool. So kind of gilding it a little bit and just do that. So I've got some gold highlights there, that's cool. So now underneath the stones layer and above this layer, I'm just going to create new layers that keep building up. And now is the fun part. And now I'm just going to go through and grab some of my brushes and just experiment with filling in those little gaps with some gold. So I'm just going to grab like brush number 17. And this is a little bit light, but that looks cool. So I'm just, you know, playing around, making it my own. Just, and I'm not making big long strokes. I'm just kind of dabbing um, here with, and I'm using my pen tablet, but you can use a mouse even. And I'm just kind of dabbing in some of those spaces and creating some gold and kind of filling in here. So as you can see, it's taking shape and it's just, just filling in that gaps with some gold. And what I like to do is, you know, I've got, I sample from different areas. So I've got some dark gold, some light gold, and that kind of gives it that really cool rough raw dimensionality so i'm going to create a new layer and then um got gold number 16 here so let maybe i'm gonna sample down here so it's just playing around and experimenting and as you can see it takes shape really fast so i'm just uh just having a lot of fun and i'm creating kind of each one on its new layer so i can you know if I'm not happy, I can turn one layer off or redo it or what have you. But it's just playing with those those gold brushes and having a little fun and kind of making it your own. So there's no like right or wrong way, but I'm just kind of tapping it. And, you know, I have my previews open so I can refer back. I might say, oh, I want more of a dry brush or I want to play with a, a wet brush and... Um, these ones are good as well, the scatter brushes. I like those a lot. And I might even play a little bit with the, the, the gold number one and see how that looks. But, you know, always what I'm doing, I think it's, it's handy, is to create each brush on its own layer so that you can, you know, turn it off. And if you don't like it, you haven't lost everything. So this is, this is nice. It's got a little bit of spray, a gold spray here. It's kind of fun, a little bit of... Fun, but really, as you can see, this is this is it. This is how I did it, and you know, it's it, it's really just laying the stones across the the type, adding a few strokes of gold underneath, and bam, it's like practically done. One thing that I did do on that monogram, um, there's a little bit of like a, a gold smear kind of coming down, a little bit of falling gold here, and like a little bit on this side. So actually. What I can, I'll show you a little trick here. I might grab gold number 11, I think it was. And let me just test this out here. Okay, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna go over here to like, I'm not sure exactly where I sampled it from, but I'll try here to start with. Oh no, that's too dark. Let's go here, we'll see. See how this goes. So I'm going to take the flow down to like 50%. Okay, that's cool. But I think I'm gonna sample it up here. Okay, mm, no, I'm gonna sample the darker. That's cool. So I've taken the flow way down and there's no really right, right or wrong way to do this, but I'm just messing about here. Okay, so I've taken the flow way down and I'm gonna start up here. This is like the only, actually the only one that I did this on, but it kind of made it cool. Like there's like some gold dropping right here. So I'm going to start up here and I'm holding my shift to make a straight, a straight thing. And I just kind of, let's see here. 
something like this. That's okay. So now I'm going to take my selection tool and go like this and then cut that. And let's see here. Yeah, that looks okay. So I just had a little bit of a gold thing kind of hanging down from there. So, you know, you can kind of just have fun with that. And I might match that on the other side. I made a little gold smear here. But um, that gives you the idea. And I think on the to top it off, I added some little gold ball accents. And there is a specific brush for that here. Ah, uh, yeah, gold number seven. And let's just try that out here. Actually, I've got a nice, I've already got it loaded with some cool gold here. So over the top of the stones, I created a new layer. And I'm just adding some of these like gold ball accents. And I think it's like really kind of cool. And adds a little bit of visual interest. And these are cool because you can like, I'm going to make, I want some bigger ones. So I'm going to... Uh, click my right bracket to make the bigger shape or to make the brush bigger or you can go over here and just change the size up here that's cool but we have to resample it and how I made that kind of a shiny ball is I kind of zoomed in over here to one of my golds and I wanted to go right over a highlight so wherever there's like a little dot of light I option select right above that and here you can see what I have loaded here. And then let's see how it goes. And that's cool. And so that makes that cool, like shiny gold. So, you know, you could just have a little fun and add some more of those or, you know, play around with it. You could try it on the darker colors. Let's do this. And you're going to have like, oh, I like those this is darker balls. And you can just like kind of just add them anywhere. But it makes it quite cool. And so I just added a little extra ball. So I have maybe a little bit too many balls, but you get the idea. So that in the end is how I created these monogram series. And the everything is available on my site, the 24 karat gold brushes, the um, jewels that I've already created, and a link to that. And I also have a, uh, a video where I show how you, how I illustrated these jewels actually with my Photoshop brushes. And I will have this um, file for you to work from the sample file available on my Patreon. And that's where um, I give extra bonus things and like um, some of my tutorial brushes and just a, a lot of extra things for some of the designers that like to especially like to learn and do it themselves. So that's a good place to check that out. So if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for the next one.